In the intricate tapestry of Islamic traditions, marriage stands as a solemn covenant that extends beyond mere earthly union into a profound spiritual bonding blessed by Allah. Drawing sharp contrasts against what is considered haram, forbidden, the notion of halal, permissible, in marital relationships not only adheres to legal frameworks, but significantly nurtures marital bliss and spiritual growth. This discourse seeks to illuminate the essence of a halal marriage in Islam, intricately woven with duties, rights, and the divine seal of consent against the backdrop of rich Islamic jurisprudence and cultural practices. Marriage in Islam is more than a contract. It is a sacred bond that requires specific procedures to ensure its validity according to Islamic law. The journey towards a halal marriage begins with the nikah, the Islamic marriage ceremony. This rite involves a clear proposal, lib, from one party and an acceptance, QBL, from the other in the presence of at least two witnesses. This act must be taken with explicit clarity, leaving no room for ambiguity, as stipulated in the Hadith where Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, there should be neither harming nor reciprocating harm. Following the nikah, the declaration of a mar, dowry, becomes a pivotal element. This financial gift from the groom to the bride, agreed upon before marriage, emphasizes respect and contributes to the bride's financial security. Scholar Ibn Qudama remarks on its significance. Mar is obligatory, for Allah says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 4, Watu anwisa sadukati hinwa nikhlavan fein tibna lakum and shine mwinhu nafsan fakuluhu hanian mwarian, translated as give women you wed their due dowries graciously. But if they waive some of it willingly, then you may enjoy it freely with a clear conscience. Quran 4 4. Furthermore, the wedding itself should be conducted in a manner that respects Islamic values. Extravagance is frowned upon and modesty is cherished. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, stated the best marriage is that upon which the least trouble and expense is bestowed. This encourages focusing on spiritual purity and communal harmony rather than lavish displays. An often highlighted aspect of halal marriage is the unequivocal consent of both parties. In Islamic doctrine, forced marriages are unequivocally forbidden, emphasizing the autonomy of the bride and groom. Anas ibn Malik reported that a woman came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, indicating she had been forced into marriage by her father. The Prophet gave her the choice of either continuing the marriage or annulling it. This hadith clearly underscores the importance of consent in Islamic marriages, promoting dignity and respect for individual choice. With consent established, the responsibilities of the spouses come to the forefront. For the groom, there is a duty not only to provide the mar, but also to sustain and protect. This encompasses financial, emotional, and spiritual dimensions. As for the bride, her responsibilities involve mutual kindness and maintaining the sanctity of the marital home. Both roles are described by Allah in the Quran and due to the wives is similar to what is expected of them according to what is reasonable. But the men have a degree over them. Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 228 وَالْمُطَلَّقَةُ
walil rijali alayhinna daraja walillahu azizun hakim translated as divorced women must wait three monthly cycles before they can remarry it is not lawful for them to conceal what allah has created in their wombs if they truly believe in allah and the last day and their husbands reserve the right to take them back within that period if they desire reconciliation women have rights similar to those of men equitably although men have a degree of responsibility above them and allah is almighty all wise quran 2 228 cementing these roles and responsibilities is not just a contractual obligation but also a gateway to abundant spiritual blessings. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, When a man marries, he has fulfilled half of his religion, so let him fear Allah regarding the remaining half. This profound saying highlights marriage as a revered modality of worship through which one can seek closer proximity to Allah. These divine blessings are not confined to the afterlife, but manifest in daily life through tranquility, love, and mercy. As envisioned in the Qur'an, Allah says in Surah Ar-Rum, chapter 30, verse 21, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَجَا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ translated as and one of his signs is that he created for you spouses from among yourselves so that you may find comfort in them and he has placed between you compassion and mercy surely in this are signs for people who reflect quran 3021 in conclusion the islamic perspective on marriage extends far beyond the legal formalities of the wedding contract. It is a holistic union that involves mutual consent, comprehensive responsibilities, and continuous spiritual growth. A halal marriage, therefore, is not just about adhering to Islamic laws, but about embracing a way of life that fosters spiritual harmony and societal balance. Thus, in understanding and observing these principles, one not only upholds the traditions of Islam, but also elevates the human experience to one of higher moral and spiritual dimension. Do not forget, if you like this video, click on like, subscribe, and share.